hello everyone welcome back to best t-shirt designs so today i am going to talk about some halloween designs because halloween is about to come and if you start uploading halloween designs now there is a chance you get some sales so as you can see these are all the best selling designs for halloween and i am showing you for the all time and i am going to talk about some of them as you can see these are all pretty much the kind of designs you always see also this one this is the this is a very popular design a skeleton riding a dinosaur we will try to make one like that also i am going to show you some other elements here as you can see this is a good one proud parent of a 12 feet skeleton so another good one is this one lying in coffin so you will see some other designs there you will find it like someone lying or sitting inside a coffin and holding a coffee mug and saying like life is better or never better something like that so this is something good this one is for kids so they are using monster trucks with some halloween elements like this bats pumpkins and the moon in the background so we can create something like that too but this is for kids so some other stuffs as you can see here so this one is really a good one the this is called the cross niching that means someone as i showed in one of my previous video if you are if you are growing your audience on a specific niche then when the halloween time or any occasion will come you will combine that niche with your occasion so that means if you are working with cats this is how you can combine your cats with halloween niche also they are using some movie characters if you know you know so as you can see the okay so that design is removed because this one is using some famous movie characters like the friday the 13th so this is a famous movie and this is a horror movie halloween movie and they are using it as you can see this is the mask of this movie and they are using it like this so this character is wearing that movie that is from another horror movie so you should not work like this you can get some sales as you can see here but then ultimately they will suspend your account so you should avoid anything that is copyrighted or trademark so if you want to work with cat niche as you can see this is a good example and as you can see black cat so this is how you combine your cat niche with halloween and if you work like that they will not ban your account and you can get this is this will be like a evergreen design so you can get sales from all over the year and then also when the halloween time will come it will be best but as you can see this is another movie character so this probably this should be banned too so maybe they are still here but it can be banned anytime so that's not how you work so as you can see sorry i can't it's haunt season so these are very simple designs yet they are meaningful and they are related to halloween that's why they are getting sales also this one i was talking about a skeleton holding a coffee mug and saying mentally ill but totally chill so that's a cool idea of combining your niche with halloween also i was as you can see trick or teach this is another good example this is this is the combination of halloween with teaching so if you are a teacher you will love something love to wear something like this so that is the cross niching and with different season or different occasions as you can see this one is another good example this is they are combining dog paws with halloween and that's why they are making a pumpkin with dog paw like this and that's really cool so this is how you can simply create your designs and this is how you combine different niches so also these are very detailed designs so you need to be an artist but thankfully we have ai now and we can create those kind of designs with ai it is not going to be that much detailed graphic if we try to make it with ai so as you can see but create something similar to that one so as you can see this is a image i created and i will put this prompt in the description illustration of a skeleton riding a zombie dinosaur and holding a pumpkin bucket in hand as you can see here so that is the inspiration from this image they are holding some pumpkin buckets also they are putting some sweets or candies into the bucket but i don't want that because that will make it confused so i am just using pumpkin bucket and this is not a perfect bucket as you can see here there 
this part should be empty but it's okay we are making it with ai so whatever we can get so this is something you can create on your own i am going to run this glyph again to get another version of it so that's how we can create images and uh, if we want to upload them to merge by amazon you will need to do some modifications you need to complete that design so let's say we are going to make a design with that one so i'm going to i'm going to add a text to it like you can't scare me i teach preschool so let's say i'm going to make this design make that design with this theme here so this is the idea here is a skeleton is riding a dinosaur that means this can be the teacher that is guiding the students or something like that anything you can bring in your head so i'm going to add that text in this design so for doing that this is just an image as you may have seen already so these are all the different variations i created with that prompt but let's use this one this one is looking good but as you can see this is just an image we cannot just use it we cannot just take it and upload it to merge by amazon that can terminate your account also not only merge by amazon you cannot just upload it to your t public or other print on demand websites so this one is also looking good so to make a complete design with this one we need to do one thing we need to first of all vectorize it we can vectorize it or we can simply just make it with photoshop so let's say i am going to create a rect artboard here this is the 4500 into 5400 artboard and i am going to bring this one here so as you can see this is how it is looking i can simply just go to this icon here with magic one tool i can simply select it it will give me a selection like this take your time to remove all the unnecessary parts that you don't want and once you are satisfied once you are happy you can simply click on this icon okay so that is we need to reverse it so select and then inverse then click on this icon so this is how you can do it also there are some areas remaining but this is how we can simply create our design that's fine but i want to make a design in illustrator using this so what can i do so for doing that i am not going to remove the background from here i am just going to bring out the darker version bring out the black colors from this image so i'm going to simply go to you can go to here and then click on this threshold option it is going to give us an image like this and i want all the details to be visible so that's why i'm going to make it something like this and with this much i don't want it like this or maybe like this so i want the details to remain and also i don't want it all the way to filled up so something like this is going to work for me and i am happy with this one and once satisfied i am going to simply just press shift e control e okay so i need to first of all rasterize this layer then i can simply press ctrl e that will merge this layer and i'll i'll get this image here so now okay i can simply just export it now as a png image or a, or a jpg image whatever you want so let's make it jpg for now and then if i open illustrator so i'm going to do it both way i'm using i'm using my photoshop and illustrator both so here i am going to simply image trace it so as you can see this will give me a complete vector file not that image file that we made with ai so this was the image this was the design that ai created for us but here i am going to simply use this one and once it is done i am going to expand it that will expand my design and here i am going to trim it so trim will trim out whatever is behind the layer so here i can simply okay let me show you from here i can simply remove this part of the design i don't need that i can remove this one i don't need this one too also this one so as you can see this is how we can remove it so once i am satisfied i am good with this design i am going to keep it and then i can simply go to this design maybe here so whatever that design was i'm going to copy this one 
so that I can use this designs color in my design now I'm going to just pick some colors from here now the thing here is I am not going to use it use the same design now for in general for a design like this you don't need to add text this is a complete design on itself but if you want we can add some text to make it a little bit more cooler so you can't scare me i am going to add that text and for doing that i can simply take an ellipse here something like this and i will align it with my main graphic here and for a design like this we need to select some groovy font groovy that means some hippie style fonts so let's say you can't i'm going to make this one in this way and then i'll maybe change the color also maybe i can use a font like this one and that is good so it is looking like this and whenever we are using type on a path tool it gives us three options two in the bottom in the beginning and one in the opposite side so this is this to indicating the start point and the finish point so this this path is i clicked here so it is starting from here and then going all the way to that point that is the ending point but if i bring this one in this area that will make it it is going to start it from the left this point and then end it here and if i click on this center icon align center that is going to align my text to the center that is fine also we can go to type type on a path type on a path options then change it to make it center click ok so th this is how it is looking right now but whenever we are placing text on a rounded path we need to increase the spacing a little bit that looks good so i'm going to so the here the main thing is you can't scare me it is preschool so preschool is the main focus text here is the main text here so we are going to give that focus i will make it bigger but also in this area i am going to make this scare you can't scare me i it is preschool so i am going to make it bigger now for this text this is placed in a plain background so i don't need to increase the size between that so that is fine so let's make it like this and then i will make it something like this but here i am going to apply another effect okay so maybe if i change the color that will be easier for you to see okay let me just put a background that will be easier so this is how it is looking anyway i'm going to just make it any color now here you can't scare me i'm going to maybe we can use some halloween related fonts you can search you can search like this halloween fonts and then in the font.com you will find different fonts 1001fonts.com this is a good website it will show you which font is allowed for free use and which one is for commercial use so as you can see this one is indicating this font is free to use and these are for commercial use these red icons are not free but this one is free for commercial use so slop regular is a good font zombie holocaust is a good font i am just going to make it for kids so let's use this one slop holocaust or something like that not sure about the spelling about the pronunciation so i already have that one okay so here i am going to use that font okay okay so this is the font you can't scare me but to be honest i am not sure about this font i have another font that is attack of the monster okay so this one looks better to me okay let's use this one so i'm going to use this one and then i'm going to go to effect wrap and then arc lower now here i'm going to make it in the negative direction negative 30 and 30 and then i'm going to make it like this here i can simply bring it like this and i'm going to make the skeleton on top of my graphics so go to arrange and bring to front so this is this will give me a little bit of a overlapping effect here so i am pretty happy with that so you can't scare me i teach preschool and here i am going to use that font but it is becoming the 
stressed version so i can simply right click change font and then make it this font so i teach preschool and i'm going to keep it like this and here i am going to copy this one i can simply put it here so i teach i teach preschool okay so while we are working on something on a design like this we can go to glyph ai again and we can give it a prompt of a illustration of okay, so detailed vector art that is fine illustration of halloween elements vector art just vector art will work not detailed vector art black lines front facing sticker that's fine we can add like pumpkins spider net ghost and that will give us some halloween elements so i'm showing you one design but you can use that to you can use that to make unlimited designs as many designs as you want so like this now here it is just like this it is looking like this but there is a problem in my design as you can see here so okay let me fix it from here it will be visible here so as you can see i have some black lines in my design and i want to fix that so if i want to do it like this I, that is fine i want to put some green for the grass there is two way i can do that first of all select this one then go to eraser tool and then go to knife tool so knife tool will allow us to create some cuts like this so that will cut the area that is being joined something like this so what it is happening is is as you can see i can simply now select this part of the design i can add some green to that also i am going to select this part again and you can simply just make it like this uh, or another way is okay let me do it one more time that will be easier for you to understand so as you can see this is simply really easy and simple you can make it like this also from here i'm going to do the same thing just like this so as you can see this is cutting those areas and this is how it is going to look so this is one way another way is let's say okay let's say everything is black for now so i can simply just select everything ctrl c ctrl f that will paste that design in top and i am going to make this one let's make it like this i'm going to make this one blue green then i'm going to erase everything that is not necessary for my design and then here i am going to erase this part that i don't want so that will erase the part and that will keep the part we want it is going to look like this and this is how you can do that so this is the top part but let's not do it the previous way the using the knife tool was good enough so you can do that so this is how it is going to look right now as you can see now it is visible and i we have we should have some elements ready like this okay so it's basically creating one complete design i wanted them to be a separate design anyway that's not an issue we can fix that so here we are going to because as you can see we can use them as they are we can use them as color full designs like i can trace this image here i can make it like let's say six color six color will give us something like this that is good enough let's expand it and now i need to trim it so once it is trimmed then i can simply go and select all the areas that i want if i click if i select any color let's say black color go to select same and then fill color which is like this one but it is showing ctrl w because that is my shortcut i said that so if i click on this option here that is going to select everything that is in black color in this design so as you can see this is how we can easily remove our color actually this is another way if you don't want to trace and bring the black version of your image so let's cut it 
so from here i'm going to okay we can simply just use them as they are and maybe i will just make some copies of them it is going to take some time i need to make it perfectly so for this image here i don't want these pumpkins to be there so i'm using my eraser tool to erase the parts that i don't want so that was a mistake it can take some time so i can skip this part and move forward with the video but i wanted you to know how this is done so i am recording everything every step so will be in the final video so something like this okay so this is just a way if you want you can simply just go to free pick and uh, any other website bring a vector from there there is a there should be tons of pumpkin vectors out there you don't need to just take one like this okay so this is one and again if i want i can add some details to my this area of the pumpkin let's say i want to make it like this that's fine also i can use this spider net from here so i'll need to select them all then i can take this one out let's keep it here i need some bats so cut it maybe i can take that spider but it is kind of blurry so let's not use it so this is why i kept a copy if i wanted this ghost i could have used it but let's not use that for now okay so this is how it is looking i am selecting this one this pumpkin group and i am going to press k k is for live paint bucket tool and if i press alt that will become eyedropper and i can now select any color i want you can see here so i want this color to be the color of my pumpkin and this is how it is going to look also for that I wanted to use this green somewhere so that's why i bring that green in my design so maybe that's not the right way so it should be like that so that is fine now i have this pumpkin here so okay so we have it holding a pumpkin there let's try to make one i am going to once we apply the live paint bucket effect we need to expand it because that's an effect also i'm going to just make it make an ellipse here maybe i will make it black then i will put it here i'll make it like this and i need to bring it something like this that is fine now here i'm going to select this pumpkin turn on the transparency make sure it is complete black and here i am going to simply draw this shape which is going to be complete black okay so i need to make it black not sure what okay so this is how it is looking again i will just move this part and here i am going to select another color that is going to be a darker version of that color so let's see this one so i am going to select this one then make it this color then i am going to bring the strokes back so it is going to give me something like this so maybe i can simply select this pumpkin here sorry keep a copy of it and i'm going to remove this part so that will be easier for me to hold them so i'm going to just make it like this maybe we can ask ai to create some let's say candies for us to put inside the bucket here but let's not do that now here if you look closely there is a there is the handle going on that is it's holding to but i don't want it i want it but i don't want it like this because that will be like that will be black so on a black handle we cannot make it visible so i'm just going to delete that part that is fine now i will just create a handle from here so i am going to use my curvature tool to create something like this and this one i am going to just make it a bit 
bigger in size i am going to expand it now i'll just click on this shape here that is going to create me a shape like this you cannot see it right now but if i reduce the size of it the size of the stroke okay, let's make it white so that you can see so as you can see this is how it is looking right now and i am going to just make it a little bit smaller okay so this much is fine and if i make it black that will be invisible now from here i want this to be okay so this is the this is the shape let's make it red for now so that i can see now i am selecting this maybe i will just put this and this in the background so behind that shape and this is going to this is how it is going to look and i am happy with that so let's not mess with that part okay guys so as you can see this is how it is looking but that is fine we can add some more elements from this area i wanted to put something here let's put a bat here maybe we can put some ghost there something like this maybe and this i am going to make in the colors any color from this design here and for the text here you can't scare me that's good enough let's keep it and for this part here not this one let's bring it a bit down so that we can read the text scare me and this feet of the dinosaur is not really important so i'm going to move it i'm going to expand everything from here and that will expand all my text and all so i'm going to expand everything that is good now make sure that everything is in a similar white so this one is so let's say if i bring a ruler here and that is going to be the white of my design so whatever i am going to place inside this area that is going to be that area will remain and uh, i'm not going to make it out of that area so this is how it is looking that is good maybe i'll just make it here okay so i need to bring out here so something like this that is good here is this one also this one is good okay so now here i teach preschool let's make it something like this now here the thing is if i make if i i am sure that i am going to make this design for a black shirt that is fine this is how it is going to look but what if i want to make it for a red shirt so as you can see this is how it is going to look on red shirt or as i said in one of my previous video that nobody buys anything for the design color if anyone is going to buy this design they are going to buy it according to the shirt color they like if anyone likes blue shirt they will buy it for a blue shirt they will buy it on a blue shirt and if someone likes a purple shirt they will buy this design on a purple shirt so that's why we need to make sure it, it remains visible on every color shirt so we can do that that is that is very simple so i'm going to simply just let's say i'm going to select this text here i'm going to create an offset path for it let's say 20 pixel that's a bit bigger for this size let's say 15 pixel make it unite and i'm going to pick this block from my design and cut it again select this one press ctrl b ctrl b is going to place that in the background so here select this black shape and the yellow shape make them a group again i'm going to do the same thing here i'm going to make that okay so not that one i'm going to make a black layer for everything and that will make it look similar to the main graphic in the background also that will give me an another advantage i will show that in a bit so this is how it is going to look select it press ctrl b again select it make it a group and as you can see if i create a black background for this text that is going to make it easy to read so that is kind of the you see the transparency effect we create that is going to do us give us that effect so this is how it is looking right now and we are happy with it we can add some more halloween elements if you want 
also we can add some other elements create a ellipse like this ctrl c ctrl f that means copy paste in front select this to unite now press a for direct selection tool and make a star like this so let's say i want to place a star here something like this so these are the placeholder design elements wherever we have some text we can add wherever we have some empty space or blank space we can add some of them so maybe i will add a this bat here this is not a good example of a bad graphic but that will work nothing to worry now i am going to select it and make it in the center so okay so this one is maybe looking like something like this should be this is how it should be anyway so this is how it is looking it is looking now i want to put some colors for my this graphic so let's say i will put one graphic for my one color for my skeleton and another for the dinosaur so the best way is select any area let's select the black area and go to select same and then fill color that is going to select everything cut it now you can easily select the parts you want i want to make it like this color and the, for the rest of the graphic we need to select it manually so i'm going to select it like this because we cannot drag and select for this area that will select some parts of the dinosaur and i don't want it so something like this so as you can see this is how it is looking and once it is done let's select the white and now again go to select same and then fill color that is going to select all the white in the design and just make it any color you want so let's say i will make it like this pumpkin color so that is good now once you are done don't forget okay let's select this green select all and then let's make it this color so once you are satisfied with the color process let's press ctrl f do not forget to do that so this is the black color layer that we need so again then for this grass area the green area i'm just going to make the same thing unite right cut and then ctrl b for the back and here i'm going to just place it like this so as you can see this is how it is going to look and it is not looking very good for this area but let's not worry about that i am just going to simply draw a shape like this right click arrange send to back that is going to fix my problem so as you can see this is how it is looking and now if i i can do the same for these all these colors here so let's first of all try to combine the colors so i will put all kind of colors in the design okay so let's make it this color maybe this green color for okay i have a green color there so something like this and also we can use if you want we can use this kind of color for each letter that is also possible another way is we can simply just make it a double color design just i show just like how i showed in my one of my previous video and then select this one press shift m for shape builder tool with shape builder tool we can erase it like this i'm pressing alt here by the way so that is going me giving me this option to delete it so this is how it is looking now once you are satisfied with this one i am just going to change it to black and as you can see this is how it is going to look so this is how you can easily create a <laughs> this is not easily so this is how you can create a design for uploading on march by amazon now if you want to if you work like this this is not about just uploading a design to march by amazon this is the way if you want you can make a design like this and you can upload them to anywhere you want you can upload them to your stock websites you can upload them them to your print on demand website wherever you want to upload them you can upload them there is no restrictions for that because this is i mean this is the way you are not copying anyone's design also you are not using that exact ai made design so i hope you will get the idea of what i am trying to say and i get these comments like can we upload this one t public or maybe can we upload this one march by amazon so yes you can upload this kind of designs on any marketplace you want 
doesn't matter and you are not going to get any kind of copyright strikes so that's it for today's video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and i will try to answer your questions so thank you very much